Good morning on day 54, leaving uh, Santa Cristina. It is gonna be a short day, 17, 18, 19 kilometers, I'm not quite sure. But it's not gonna be long. It's gonna be more of the same, walking by the fields. Tomorrow's gonna be a special day since I have a little ferry ride in mind. And uh, yeah, leaving uh, town at 8 in the morning, and let's get to it. Hey little buddy, which way to Rome? You don't know? All right, whatever. Check this out. You see this road right here? This is called the Via Francigena Road. So I'm a, I am actually walking on the Via Francigena officially. This is not a trail, this is not a backcountry road, this is the official Via Francigena Road. Uh, all kidding aside, it's been uh, a day walking by uh, water canals, by the railroad, I've seen more critters today than in days past. Uh, looks like I'm back on the vineyards. I see one up ahead. And uh, the ups and downs. Today's a short day. Tomorrow is a long day. You get used to it. It becomes part of the routine. It is day 54. Could be day 25, 67. The f not the first day. The first day, that's a different animal but you get the idea. It's just the routine. You just gotta enjoy it. Well, it's been a while. I think it's been over a week since I've seen uh, vines like this. And guess what? It is time for a mid-morning snack. I missed it. Enjoying a uh, cafe americano Absolutely. with my fellow pilgrims here. Good times. Yes. I just had a little uh, coffee break and bump into uh, Dirk from uh, Holland. Uh, he actually stayed in the same albergue that I stayed last night, and uh, he's going six kilometers farther than where I'm staying but we're both crossing the river tomorrow so hmm. I love motocross man when I was a little kid that's what I wanted to do that was my aspiration the day that I was gonna grow up I wanted to ride motorcycles where did things go so wrong? <laughs> I guess those were uh, simpler times. So finding this out here in the middle of nowhere, in a field, icing on the cake. New shoes are doing great. Trolling is uh, feeling lighter. The wind is in my face. What else can I ask for? Everything's going according to plan. Day 54. I think I'm about a month away, especially since I'm uh, four days ahead of schedule. That's crazy. Uh, but here in Italy, I plan to take it uh, easy. Maybe, maybe not, who knows. But once I reach uh, Tuscany, there are a few towns where I actually want to stay and take it all in. Absorb the atmosphere, be an Italian for a day. <laughs> 
The things that you come across, huh? No rain in the horizon. I mean, look at this. Not even a single cloud. Temperature is actually supposed to go up next week. It's gonna go up into the mid 80s. And uh, yeah, that's the only one thing. But like anything, I'll take the good with the bad. I guess I'll start walking a little bit earlier. Uh, the day after tomorrow is gonna be a long day, 32 kilometer day. It's been, uh, it's been about a week since I've done one of those. As long as it's flat terrain, no problem. I'll do it. I've done 42. <laughs> what is that? Is that a castle? Should I take a shortcut? Yeah, sure. I should, right? Yeah. All right, see you guys. <laughs> Guess who that is? That is the mayor. How crazy is that? He came here to welcome me because I sent him an email yesterday. And right now he's going back to town and he's gonna wait for me by the church where there's a, a, a hostalero. There's a place for all pilgrims to stay. He was just telling me about the people that have come through, the ones that were here yesterday and the ones that are coming tomorrow. Bunch of people that I have not seen, but I will probably cross paths uh, sooner or later. Uh, Dirk kept going to the next town. He had an appointment. It was very hard for him because this mayor was giving him a hard pitch about staying here. Uh, hopefully I'll see him tomorrow, 8.30 sharp, by the pier so we can take a boat across the Po River. Man, sounds so exciting, so much things to do. Uh, but right now, let's just go to town and fall back on the routine. Here with the mayor of the town. <laughs> Hello, uh, hi, hi all the pilgrims that uh, stay in Oriolita in the Middle Age Hostel. Uh, Bienvenidos. I, como hospitalero y como alcalde, uh, yo soy uh, uh, feliz, muy feliz uh, uh -huh. cuando los peregrinos uh, eh, eh, están aquí. Perfect. You heard it from the mayor. Yeah, Come and stay in this place. Uh -huh. Man, what a great place to stay. This uh, hostel, Ostelo, is run by the mayor of the town. Having him welcome me here is just uh, amazing. Uh, there are all the pilgrims staying here as well. And of course, I am the first Cuban to stay here. I already uh, took a shower. They have the facilities down below in the basement. Wash my clothes. Uh, they're drying right now, and at 7 o'clock, uh, the major, our hospitalero, is going to drive us all to a restaurant about a kilometer away from here so we can have dinner. He was telling me that, as always, I am the first Cuban to stay here since he's been running this place. 
It started in 1996 when there would only come a handful of pilgrims uh, through here. He said uh, that about 2010 is when the real explosion of people coming by started to take place. Right now there's a French woman, Australian woman, like three or four Italian cyclists, and Le Cobain. This feels a little bit like the movie The Shining with Jack Nicholson. Feel like I'm at the Overlook Hotel. But I'm actually going to uh, get my clothes. What did I do? Here we go. Looks like I'm on the final spin cycle. Showers over here. Brand new, just for pilgrims. Right now we're in the basement. This is where the showers are. Uh, you can also hand wash them right here. But if you had the, the washer, what's the point? Cycle ended. Let's try it now on the first floor. Waiting for the mayor to uh, come pick me up and take me to the restaurant. And I'm doing so at what better place than this sign. Right now, I'm 575 kilometers from Rome, and uh, my biggest fear is that it's just gonna go like that. <laughs> well, here I am on my way to the restaurant with the mayor of Oriolita. Oriolita. We're gonna ha go have something to eat right now. This is the presidential car. Tomorrow, by there. That way we go. <laughs> Guess what, that's the pilgrim's dinner right there. Spaghetti and marisco. Ciao, 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 ciao. ciao. Just made it back from uh, the restaurant. Great company, great food. We had a, a feast, marisco, pasta, wine, the whole nine yard. Great company with pilgrims. We had a lot of fun. The chef uh, just drove us back because we were supposed to walk back. I didn't know that the, the major left us there a kilometer away. And uh, Right now we're back. The host, the hostel. Great night, great day. What an amazing day, man. And tomorrow we're taking a boat. All of us together. We have to be there at 8.30. At man, I'm like, I can't even talk straight. <laughs> so in that note, on that note, I say goodbye to all of you guys. Mm -hmm.